Hey, how y'all doing? This is Craig here again. Uh, putting the FarmerTech Hutzel MS660 clone together. I've got the crankcase together. Uh, actually, getting ready to set the cylinder down on it. That's a big bore, 56 millimeter. Run into a little bit of an issue. Thought I'd make a real short video. Uh, what I ran into and I don't know how I'm going to fix it, but I'll show you what happened. Readjust the camera here. This right here is the stock cylinder that come with the saw. This is the Farmer Tech 56 millimeter big bore. I have done a little bit of work to it. I don't know if you can see that, but I got in there and I opened the intake up a little bit, smoothed it all out, took the bump out of it on the exhaust side. Done the same thing, opened it up, gasket matched it to the muffler. Got in there and done just a little bit of work to the transfers, not a whole lot. I got what I could get. I don't have very sophisticated tools, so I could only get so far. But anyway, get the piston on it. Get ready to set the cylinder down. Don't know if you can see that, but right there is the arrow. That is pointing toward the exhaust side. This here is the intake side. There's the exhaust. What I was doing was I was getting ready to check squish. Find out how much squish I had on it. So, I basically just set it down on there. Looks like it sets down. Looks like it's going made up. I was debating on whether to do a no gasket base build or not. So then I went on ahead and turned it over just for giggles here. Did you hear that? That's the piston hitting the top of the cylinder. Look at the gap. That's a that's a quarter inch. As I turn the piston up, there's no way that the little shim gasket, metal shim gasket that they supply, is going to take care of that kind of a gap. This is a little metal shim gasket. Point sixty five before it's crushed. <laughs> so I done all that port work on that big bore cylinder for nothing. So now it looks like I'm going to uh, be using the standard cylinder, the stock cylinder. You can kind of see the difference. Since I'm going to be using this one, let me just go ahead and open it up. Or at least I hope I'm going to use this one. I hope it's not another issue. There you go. You can see the difference in the bores. I'll just do a fast comparison here with my caliper. We're at zero. This is the big bore. 55.35 millimeters. So it's 55 and a half. Uh, 
That one there is 53.32, so that's 53 and a half. So you're two millimeter bigger. I don't know, without doing the math, I don't know the exact cc's. But that's probably three or four. So, I don't know. You can see where that piston's already been smacked against the inside of it there. This one here doesn't look too awful bad. Needs a little bit of work done to it. You can see about how much I took off on the intakes. I didn't take a whole lot out of it, but I did clean it up. And again, you know, I didn't take a whole lot out of the exhaust. This is the big bore over here. I just kind of went in there and cleaned it up a little bit. So anyway, that's the um, that's the problem I ran into. 56 millimeter big bore. When you set it down on. With the piston all the way up, it doesn't seat all the way down. I know. That's definitely more than what that shim, that metal shim is going to be. I'll try it just to make sure, but I know that's going to be too big. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.